infamous all-seeing eye. For some, it is just an absurd logo. But for others, of an increasingly growing number, it is a symbol that represents a far more sinister design. It is the seal that unites the occult, secret societies, the entertainment industry, mass media, governments, law enforcement agencies, global corporations, and the largest financial institutions in our world. This is an apparent reality and is easily verifiable through simple observation on the part of the most average individual. However, what is not as visibly apparent about this outstandingly significant symbol are the particulars that surround its supernatural origin or the multiplicity of subliminal messages that are implied by the employing of this figure which is amongst the greatest of all occult symbology. Throughout all history, and perhaps in every culture, the study of archaeology reveals that, under various representations, the eye was exalted and deified as a symbol of the primary pagan deity of various civilizations of antiquity. There is no debate on if what I just stated is a fact, but what is worthy of questioning is why this symbol was selected for this purpose. Was it just chosen by man because he thought of his God as the one who could see all things and knew all things? And if so, then what prompted them to place this symbol of their God in the pinnacle of a pyramid? Perhaps they just thought it was a neat idea, so neat that thousands of years later, the United States of America placed this very same symbol on the back of its $1 bill. Or could it be that perhaps supernatural forces were at work to influence the inhabitants of Earth's ancient civilizations to produce this very curious symbol. Supernatural forces, which thousands of years later are still at work now. As hard as it may be for the average individual to accept a thought of this great magnitude, that supernatural agencies do indeed exist and are responsible for producing the symbol known as the all-seeing eye does not change the fact that what I have just presented to you is not merely just a theory but it is in the most absolute sense the truth that is supported by the most intriguing history. Long ago, in the majestic realms of a place called Heaven, a rebellion was started by a powerful creature whose name was Lucifer. In the Bible, in the book of Ezekiel, we discover much about this creature Lucifer that will teach us about the origin and principal symbolism of the all-seeing eye. In Ezekiel chapter 28, starting at verse 14, the Bible says, speaking in reference to Lucifer, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity was found in thee. So, before his rebellion in heaven, Lucifer was highly honored by God and was set up as the anointed cherub that covereth, which means that Lucifer's main responsibility was to cover the presence of the Almighty God as he sat upon his throne. This 
is a most important fact that needs to be firmly established from the Bible because it is a major link in exposing the true origin and the principal subliminal messages that are implied by the use of the occult symbol known as the all-seeing eye.